So, July. We've officially entered the second half of the year. I know what you're thinking. 2020 hasn't been easy for any of us, but let's bring back some positivity with this vibrant koi fish painting. The koi fish symbolizes luck and success. We hope it could bring some flow of positive energy into our homes. Before going further, let's prepare the materials as so. Step 1. Let's do some simple sketches at the top of your canvas. For the fish, try to imitate the shape of a teardrop but with a rather curvier form. There will be two koi fish facing each other. Continue by adding some circles with the triangle gaps to illustrate the lotus leaves. Continue to the second step. We are going to paint the first layer of every object we've made on the previous step, starting with the pond. Take your biggest brush, then mix dark blue with lots of white and a tiny drop of yellow. Spread the paint evenly onto the pond. Once you're done with the water, let's move on to the leaves. Add a bit of deep blue into yellow and white mixture to create the base color of the lotus leaves. It shouldn't be too dark or too light, just medium green to cover up the objects. closely into any koi fish, their body is not pure white. So instead of leaving the body unpainted, we cover it up with a mixture of white, a tiny drop of yellow to create an off-white color. Load up your smallest round brush with white and start painting the shape of the tail and the fins. With the same brush, let's continue by painting the pond with white, blue, and dark blue strokes to create a dramatic effect. There's no rules in adding these strokes. All you have to do is just fill in the gap between these objects, like there's some sort of stream energy going on here. Some strokes can be short and some can be longer. to apply some darker shades on the top of our lotus leaves. To create the desired tone, I'm adding dark blue into yellow. Just make sure that the color is darker than the base leaf color we had from earlier. Shadows, check. To complement the leaves even further, take yellow and put on the color upon the leaves edges. As for the koi's body, there will be patterns and colors. Here I make a reddish color by mixing red with a bit of white and black, and then wiggle it out to form random irregular patterns. For the one on the right, the collaborations will involve orange, which is a mixture of yellow and a bit of red. To live up the entire painting, I'm thinking about putting a burst of warm color and adding lotus flowers. To do so, just blend together red and white, and then start making a plus sign and an X. Once you have the basic structure of a flower, use the tip of the brush to refine the shape of each petal. Now, let the base color of the flowers dry, and let's paint the second pattern of the koi fish. 
We are going to use dark gray for the one on the left and deep red for the other fish. To polish it up even further, I'd like to come back to the fins and tails and add some delicate lines and shadows with light gray. The next step is for us to add the fish's eyes and whiskers. Light blue, black and white for the eyes and titanium white for the whiskers. Almost finished guys and now we land into the last step. It is time for us to adorn the flowers and leaves. Get some red to shade the flower petals and dab yellow dots to illustrate its pollen. On the bottom part of each leaf, I'm also applying a hint of dark green to give them a three-dimensional effect. And voila! Congratulations friends, you've succeeded in painting the Asian symbol of luck and fortune and it's ready to decorate your wall and bring some prosperity into your home. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more painting tutorials and event updates. Bye!